Canada. The Los Angeles Auto Show gets underway this morning. It is expected to draw nearly a million people over the next 10 days. This year, visitors will see the next big step in the car industry. Bill Whitaker is at the Los Angeles Convention Center. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Now, all the major automakers are driving to be green with electric cars and hybrids in showrooms now. But there's an old technology that's making a comeback, hydrogen power. This Honda concept car won't be available until 2015. But if you're in a hurry, you can find a hydrogen powered car in a showroom this spring. Our engineers have been hard at work and the new hydrogen fuel cell solution I mean, this is, is this. It? This is all of it. That's it. Um, yep. For decades, engineers have touted the promise of zero-emission hydrogen-fueled cars. This week at the Los Angeles Auto Show, automakers finally are keeping that promise. Hyundai is the first major automaker to mass-produce a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. The Tucson SUV will be available in showrooms this spring. With a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle, you're actually generating your own electricity um, with fuel cell stacks that are fueled by hydrogen. And the only thing that comes out the tailpipe is water vapor. It's pretty cool. Instead of gasoline, you pump hydrogen into the tank, but the process is almost identical. Three to four minutes at a fueling station and you're good to go for 300 miles. Hyundai is betting hydrogen is the solution to problems plaguing electric vehicles. How far people can go between recharges um, causes some anxiety, and it takes a long time to refill batteries. There's really no way around that. Hyundai is not the only car maker banking on hydrogen. Honda took the wraps off its concept hydrogen fuel cell car here at the LA Auto Show. Toyota unveiled its hydrogen powered concept in Tokyo this week. Both will hit the market in 2015. Innovation has reached a point that allows a more commercially viable fuel cell vehicle to be mass produced. But not everyone is buying the hydrogen hype. Elon Musk made a big bet on electric cars with his Tesla. The hydrogen is quite, quite a dangerous uh, gas. Um, you know, it's, it's suitable for the upper stage of rockets, but not, not for cars. How do you convince people that this is safe? These tanks have metal that's about an inch thick and they're wrapped with carbon fiber. Um, they're essentially impenetrable. Other concerns are more practical. There's no place to fill the cars. We only have a half dozen filling stations in California. So you get a car, and even if it's a great price, you still gotta put the fuel in it. Hydrogen boosters point to California's recent decision to pay $100 million to build 100 fueling stations in the next five years as evidence the so-called hydrogen highway is being built slowly but surely. So let's do it. Absolutely. When I took Hyundai's new hydrogen-fueled Tucson for a spin... That is a beautiful sound. No sound at all. sound of silence. <laughs> it drove like any gas-powered car on the road today. This handles just like... The car I drive. When we drive it, uh, and I have maybe uh, friends or family uh, join me, that they don't actually realize that they're driving the technology of the future. And that's kind of what we're uh, aiming for. Now, one of the best things about hydrogen, it's abundant. But right now, with new drilling technology, oil is abundant and gas prices are dropping. So the question is, will there be an economic incentive for customers to grab this new technology? Charlie? Yeah. Bill, thank you.